Right, so uh, folks, uh, the time is here now. Uh, I have with me in the studio some, uh, should I say, captains here. Uh, of course, our own Search of Yatamaklo. Uh, he's one of the best gospel musicians we have around here. Uh, he's my uncle. Eh? Uh, he's my uncle. Uncle, uncle, uncle is here. And then I also have our own pastor, um, Mr. Jonathan Kakraba. He's here. Uh, he can't speak uh, ever, but I'm sure maybe he's been with us. He can speak ever. The Kareka. You eat okra soup and uh, akola. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, uh, you. Uh -huh. That's it. <laughs> so we pick it from there. Uh, you're here this morning. We just want to know you more because um, we've heard of you. We've heard of your works and we heard you're in town. So we decided to have a conversation with you. And I'm sure after the program today, someone will be inspired. Uh, we'll pick a cue from your journey to where you are now. I know you're still on the journey. The journey has not ended yet. Uh, you're still on the journey. But then to those of us who aspire to become sound engineers or maybe pastors, uh, I don't know. Uh, we want to know you. How did it start for you? Though it's um, peculiar or it's relative to everyone. How you started, continued to where you are now, may not be the same as someone. Sure. Uh, but it can also be the same as someone. Uh, so we want to know you. Did you just uh, wake up one morning and then said, I want to be a sound engineer? And we want to know why you chose this field and not maybe becoming a nurse, a teacher, or some other profession. Okay, thank, thank you so much also for um, the opportunity given um, Sun City um, and, and radio and TV um, and all the viewers that are also watching from their homes and all that and listening to me. Um, I was fortunate to be born into music. Uh, my dad himself is a musician. Um, I don't know, he's also Jonathan Kakaba, but um, his artistic name is Abebe. Abebe and the Bantus, um, I think um, in the in the nineties um, he was doing a lot of gospel. Uh, I say go, was doing a lot of you know, Ewe songs, Agbaja, um, uh, Soka Bobobo, and all those stuff. So I was born into music. My mom sings. She bags my dad at the studio. Um, so at a little age, I had the opportunity to follow my dad to the recording studio and all that. So my ears was blessed um, with music. So I had interest in it. So when I and, and it, it just birthed a certain gift in me, and which is God given. Um, I, I I'm not fortunate to be um, the other ones that have gone to school and they've learned the education about sound engineering but i was born into it and it was just a gift and when i see someone doing something all i need to do is just use my ears to register it and i can emulate what i've seen someone doing and all that so for me it was it was from day one it was a, a god-given talent mm -hmm. and which i i in a way having learned from other people and also serve in the house of the lord and it has it, it, i'm still on the journey Wow. Uh, this is just like a story I've heard uh, one gentleman who sews, uh, a fashion designer, saying he didn't learn how to sew. <laughs> he just put pieces of fabric together and then he's now a fashion designer. He doesn't have a master. <laughs> yeah, he's not a fashion designer. But uh, many people think being a sound engineer is more technical. So, and people go to school to learn it. So, uh, how come? Because there are machines, you have to control how to mix these, how to regulate these, the bass, the treble, the mid, and all that. It's oh, you not know it already. Oh, they're, they're both, you're already an engineer. Oh, okay. Oh, I aspire to be like you. <laughs> anyway, so uh, would you say it's more technical or? Um, um, it is 
I see sound engineering to be a ministry. Okay. For me, um, some see it as a as a, um, a work and a job and all that, but I see it as a ministry. So for me, number one factor is God. And people say, ah, but God, why hasn't been given? If you dedicate your time and you serve, there are certain things that it rubs on you. So for me, I just got to know somehow to pray some of these things. If I watch you doing it, I can come and sit and just start doing it and it works. But at the end of the day also, when God gives you something, you also have to learn to shape it. So by learning also, I, I watch what others are doing. If there's something I don't know, I ask a question and I say, oh, how do you do this? How do you come about with this and all that? So over the years, and I'm still learning. Okay. I'm still learning. And technology is coming up and you need to upgrade with the technology. So and you've been doing this for how long now? I can say like 25, um, 25, 27. So at what age did you start um, the engineering yeah, business? I, I started by following my dad, mm. the live band. I'll be folding cables, packing instruments, and fixing of instruments. They t teach me how to do it, so I've been doing it. Then I, I joined um, 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 Royal House, then IBWC. I also joined the choir, I was singing, and I joined the technical department. So uh, it was a 360 thing. So wherever I go, even in school, um, I was playing the percussion, the kunka for the school. So everywhere I go, there's music around me. So yeah, so I, 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 it was just, it was just, it was, I was just there. I was just there at the right time. All right, at so right place. Uh, I know some of the artists that uh, you've engineered sounds for them, but what was your first engineering work you did which yeah. artist did you work with i think the <laughs> first artist um it wasn't artist per se first was um, um my pastor reverend Sam okay um he was my first contact in, into sound but i've done a couple of things for my dad also before i was playing um and bobo -bo instruments even for him to record uh, even I've even sung in the studio before. I think I think church was my first immediate. Afterwards, I did for um, the late Danny Um I was doing sound for him. Then um, other people came in. Joe Mattel, um Dana Hamilton, and the, and the rest also came in. Wow. So how do you feel working with these people? Oh, it's a blessing. Like. Mm -hmm. um, it's very humbling that you have an opportunity. It's not just work, it's to serve. You understand? If you see it as a service, you, your mindset and your approach will be different. So it's, 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 it's much of a service um, that you render to them. It's your God-given service that you render to them. So it's much humbling. And most of them is a relationship. It's not just um, the work, but it's a relationship that uh, we, can, we can agree, disagree. And that relationship kept the bond and makes the work easier for all of us. Mm. Well, so uh, what are some of the songs you've engineered, say, for example, Joe Metal? For Joe Metal, I can mm. say that Hey, from beginning on, uh, most of his songs, you almost, yeah, all of Jumetto's live recordings, I um, had fortunately did the sound and also record the the, the songs also, and including um, Enyo, 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 Enyo is better revival, uh, better revival, oh, okay, yeah. better revival. I, I I engineered the recent one, um, the one uh, Yesu Ye by them cover. I, I engineered that one and also recorded that one also for them. Okay. You are a pastor too? Yes. So yes. how do you combine the two? Um, <laughs> it, 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 for me, like I said, my, my, what I do is a ministry. So in, in the sound engineering, you're also pastoring people. You understand? So in terms of past, pastoring is all more of service. Mm -hmm. If you're a pastor, you need to serve people, you understand? So in the midst, like, um, um, there are people that are pastors of the airwaves. There are people that are pastors in charge of other things. So for me, in the area of sound, um, frequencies-wise, and making sure that the worshipers are okay, making sure that the pastor, the artist, or anybody that at all you have contact with will also feel comfortable and know that. So the little 
touch that God will give to you, touch, it makes the thing sound great. And, and it's also a ministry. So I believe you don't just have to be a pastor to be on the pulpit to preach, but you can preach through the equipment that God has given to you. Okay. Um, Tim Godfrey, <laughs> how did you meet him? He's a uh, Nigerian. Yeah, so I, I think Tim Godfrey was um, when uh, pre um, he said, God, over there, 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 there. So he had a concert in Ghana here. So I did a sound for him. Um, so Tim Godfrey was part of the bill. He came with the team and I did the sound also for him. So they were happy, they were happy. It was, it was a wonderful moment with them. And, and even to the extent that um, they wanted to come to do other programs. If it wasn't for COVID, I should have done some works in Nigeria. But COVID also um, um, took. What of um, William McDowell? Yeah, I mean, William Abdul was, um, that one was a testimony. Um, I personally admire the ministry of William McDowell. So for me, I think it was, it was, uh, it, I think it was in March or so. So I was going to the program because I didn't have money to buy tickets. So I was going there early to do Stoneway so that I can stay in, so that I can enjoy the program. So when I came there, and the engineer that was supposed to come with didn't come. So other equipment. So then I was there, I was seated in my corner. So everybody was mentioning my name. The sound engineers, uh, the, the musicians were mentioning my name. That, oh, you should like a cover, do the sound. You like a cover, do the sound. And the equipment are not even mine. Then a lot of dialogues went on and all that. And then they, after they finally agreed I should do the sound for them, and which I did. And, and it was it was marvelous. Um, and one of the things that I heard from his um, music director was, the, and that was one of the best they had in Africa. And I was I was so happy that I had the opportunity to be there. I, I was not part of a part of it, but God God just opened the door, and that's what the relationship I had. Okay. Uh, what of this uh, worship and babble of uh, South Africa? So uh, in Tokozo was um, um, when Jometo was doing his program. She was part of the artist. So I've done um, 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 the live recording with Joe. She was singing. He came with the. She came with the husband, and also I did the recording of her with um, for Natana Basin. Uh, Martin Abbasi too was doing a recording which featured Joe and um, 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 Intokozo. So I even have to, Intokozo, I went to ICGC. I literally took equipment to go and record her in a church. Like uh, she came for ICGC program. I took equipment, microphones and everything, went to record her. So yeah, it's just through the relationship I've been able to, yeah. So you have your own equipment that you work with? Oh. I have some, okay. but I I work with also Reverb Studio um, and okay. Metals um, and Reverb Studio and um, um, for me any any it's just a call first come first serve. So if my my father calls me to come to Keta to come and do work for him, I'll come to come and do work for him. He's my boss actually. Uh, Minister Sajafia. Yes. Oh, okay. He's my boss. <laughs> okay. So um, apart from sound engineering and uh, the ministry work, what else do you do? Um, I'm also uh, um, a lover of worship. Um, I love to worship. Um, a worship leader also. And um, um, not just a worship leader. Sometimes also I have opportunities to, um, to be a speaker. Um, at seminars and all that. And I also do installations for House of Worship and all that. So um, anything music I do, recording, um, 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 worshiping. I'm here because of worship, not because of sound. I'm here because of worship. And this is something I do personally. So um, and that's why I'm here to do it in Keta. Can you cook? Oh, yes, I cook. Cook what? Anything except pound of fufu. <laughs> Except pounded fufu. Yes, you can cook anything. Yeah, I I have I have the system where um, we are all trained in the house. I know how to cook banku with um, the uh, how do you call it uh, the fire. Um, um, those kitchens that they are all black. It's not because it's paint. It's the smoke. Okay. Yeah, I know to set fire. Okay. I know to how to cook with cook pots. Yeah, know we how call to it cook. in Afa. The one we use the firewood for. 
Yes, I know how to use it. Yeah. Okay. You can uh, set that fire? Yes, I can set that fire. I mm. can set that fire. I do everything. Like, like uh, we had that training from home that okay. nobody is exempted. Go to market, go and buy stuff and come and cook for the family. You are not cooking for yourself. You are cooking for the family. So everybody was trained. So I have opportunity to, to do that also. So it's, it's a family training that I, I always thank my parents for also making me and and, and, and also do that so uh from what you've told us so far uh it's obvious your parents made you who you are today uh tell us what's special about them the role they played in your life that has made you what you are today um my parents especially um not mechanism my dad was a very you know the the airway settings the way fathers are very very hard and I'm so grateful that I have a dad like him. Where were you born? Were you born in I was, I was born in Vapo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Angeta, uh, 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 Vapo. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> so, so, so for me, for me, my dad um, was very straight on me, uh, making sure that I take my education seriously. Uh, my mom was my prayer backbone. My mom will go all out, pray for me, and has been speaking life over me whilst I was young. So my mom has been a very, um, 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 like, she has been a motivation to me. And my dad also didn't allow me to, you know, when you are growing up, you, you don't mix up with certain people. Um, sometimes people are doing certain things today because of the uh, environment that they are in. But even though I was in such an environment, my dad didn't allow me to mingle with other other people playing around, doing other. When you come there, the lashes that you receive, you will not go there again. You understand? So that alone, looking at myself today, it's not like I'm 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 I'm, I'm proud of uh, um, um, what they are today. Some of them are into alcoholism. Some of them they smoke and all that. And I see that it could have been me over there. It's just by the grace of God that I have certain parents that are very, very hard on me, teach you that what doesn't belong to you, don't take. And what is for you, you like how to respect and all that. So do 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 you beat you for you to understand. Um so as for as for as for me, that's one of the toughest training I've received and I always thank God for that. Did you have the opportunity of maybe going to uh, a private school like uh, the kids of today? Uh, I mean, you started from Saito. I mean, I was I to uh, Saito. I walk to school. <laughs> I walk to school in my shorts. Sometimes you don't even have proper shoe. Your socks is coming out from the shoe, and you're walking to school. You don't even have food to eat. Uh, they will give you money uh, 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 on Monday, so the Monday will cover for the whole week. So whether you spend the money on Monday, that is it. I even even have once. I only enjoy our day. Only once, that was class one, first time. And those times, bottles were uh, uh, treasure. We, uh, my sister broke the bottle. As in bottled drinks were? Yeah. Okay. They, when you drink it, you bring the bottle back. And so my sister broke the bottle. Since then, my dad said, no more our day. So you take the same money to school and all that. So I didn't have it easy with school. Yeah. I'm not a, a, a university graduate, no. Yeah, but through my my working with people that are graduates and all that i'm able to express myself able to um, speak because um, most of the people i grew up with and work around they are elderly people and you you need to learn how to behave and talk with them so that also has played a major role in my life and which i'm always grateful for right uh, looking at you i'm not sure you are 40 years old i'm not sure i'm almost yeah, but you are not yet. 40. Yes, yes. yes. Um, looking at the youths of today, you know, you come to Keta. I'm not. I'm not trying to paint Keta black or <laughs> paint any other area black. But you come to Keta, you go to Georgia, you go to Abuja, click all. Uh, and most of the youths today, uh, both male and female, they are involved in alcoholism, uh, smoking, hard stuffs, not just cigarettes disrespectful to anybody who wants to be disrespected let me put it like that mm. uh, you try to correct them they insult even your parents at home today mm. 
I don't know if you've experienced anything like this. And looking at your upbringing to where you are now, even though maybe people who are university graduates, some of them are still in engineering school now, thriving to reach where you have reached now. But the grace has brought you this far. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to ask you this question. <laughs> Because I know you're a spiritual person and you give me a positive answer. Five years, ten years away, where do you see the youths of this town? Looking at the kind of lives they're involved in at night, you see them hanging around pubs, clubs, living a life. Sometimes it's obvious they can't afford it, but they are forcing themselves to afford it. Where do you see the youth and what message do you have for them? Thank you very much. Um, I have great fear for the youth for today and five years to come. Because going on the day, some of the things, the practices that we were involved in, I don't see them today. Unlike going on the days that we devote our, our time, being in church, being in a lot of departments. Like I've been in security, choir, drama. Like I was involved in everything. So from Monday to Monday, I find myself in church. You understand? But now, looking at um, everybody is trying to be, be accepted into society. So they engage in what they engage in also. But I, believe, uh, but I believe that it's not too late for a great change to occur. But it's not just prayer. Prayer is good. But one of the things that we need to do is, one of the things I've understood is, it's not how you judge people, but how you accept them for who they are. And accepting them for who they are also, will also make them also be, be, be encouraged and, and, and speak to you. I had an encounter with a guy in Abidjan. I was doing a work for a church. This guy is very good, but he's always blowing fuse. Early in the morning, the guy is not seeing things properly. I was like, I was angry. He was in the church? No, they are renting vendors. Like, okay. Yeah. So then I called him. He doesn't speak English well. I don't understand French. So I called him and said, you, I like you. Um, can we talk? Um, you're a nice man. Um, drinking, not, not good on you. You're a powerful man. So he stood there for a while. It was very, very emotional. Till today, anytime I come to Abidjan, he's one of the first people that will call me. He knows that I'm in town. And you see, some of them just love. Some of the people, they might not even have love at home. Maybe they don't even have their parents watching over them. They strive for themselves and know that. So who are you to, to, to talk to them? And today's generation, it's not about how you bash them. It's about how you receive them. Make them also express themselves, some of the things that someone cannot sleep, so the only thing they depend on is alcohol. Some, they are doing that because that's all they know. So for me, the fundamentals that some of us have experienced and know that this is a time that we need to leave our comfort zone. Some of us are here. I, I've been here like a week now. Yeah, left everything I'm doing. There are work for me to do that can get money out of it, but I left everything to be here just to think about what we can do. And we are bringing worship, although it's a program we're doing. I know, for instance, we're going to get some youth out of it also. You understand? So, small, small programs like this, when we start doing it, we encourage the youth and also push them to understand that, oh, things can be possible if you, if you press on. You can, you can also be respected in society, not just by trying to um, 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 raise yourself above your means, but even in the small ways that you do things and know that you can also be respected. And also encourage them also to educate themselves in the little things that they are doing. Mm -hmm. You understand? So um, and the mediums like what you have here, the platform that you have, is a wonderful platform for me. 24 7 when you call me i'll be here because this is a bigger platform that we can also reach the youth you understand so any given platform that we have we need to also add push and also encourage them and you can't do this without love you can't do this without love 
most of them out there they don't even have love well uh, so love love leads uh, god is love <laughs> and so let's show them some love but then uh, some of them obviously they just don't want to change they feel they prefer the hard life to let, let, let me give you a scenario mm. I, I don't want, i can't mention the name but i met someone yesterday the person was so furious with anger and I sat down, the guy said, no, 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 he doesn't do things that way, he doesn't do that. Thing. And I spoke to him, you know, you know what? You are alive because of the certain things that you've done, the good that you've done, that you're alive today. And I asked him whether he has children and, and a wife. He said, yes. And I said, you know what? Whatever you're doing today is a seed that you're sowing for your children. So do the right thing so that your children, and the children are watching. Whatever they see, their father and their mother do. I'm here today because of what I've seen my father and mother doing. So if you leave that kind of life for the children also to see, they'll easily copy it, you understand? So I spoke to him, so it's not everything you use, you, use, you have to use your heart to do. Sometimes someone will be off offend you, but look at it in a different manner. That offense that you're taking anger of, sometimes it's supposed to have effect on you, to work on you, to shape you. You understand? So it's not, it always sees that the other way around. And he stood there, was watching me. I said, he was supposed to do some work. Um, he left the work. And then when I spoke to him, I saw the guy to pick, he went to pick his tools and he started working again. I was like, wow. Sometimes confrontation with them, talking to them, speaking with them. And you see, don't see yourself above them. I know some people, when you're in the car, when you see someone walking around, oh, he's not my class and that kind of stuff. But when you also meet them at their level and have dialogues with them, sometimes it's even nice for you to go and buy food. Say, oh, child boys, boys, come and let's eat. You understand? Eat with them, have a conversation with them. Those little, little, little things. Whenever I talk, Charlie, I've been seeing you around, Charlie. I see that, Charlie, with a drink, drink, then so Charlie, but bro, like the way you are looking, like, look at your skin, Charlie. You are, you are not 40 years, but look at your face and all that, Charlie. You can stop this thing and start doing something. Oh, Charlie, what is the business going on? We can even do farming. A flower is just here. You can do buy and sell. So much, 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 you see. So by having those dialogues with them, it, it, it's not an instant change. But you need to be very intentional about it. You understand? And you see, if God was patient with you for you to get to where you are, you should also need to accept that patience to that person also. And that will take a lot of work. And that's what we don't we don't have. We want people to change like instant noodles. They are not Indomie. They are human beings. Okay. 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 But it's rather unfortunate. Most of them, uh, the friends they have are just like them. So <laughs> I know what you're saying. Mm. I know what you're saying. But sometimes eh, when you get when you get the alpha, you get the rest. So uh, I'm having a conversation with Mr. Jonathan Kakraba. <laughs> he is an award-winning sound engineer and a pastor as well. Uh, he's a young man. He's trying to talk to us uh, with the youths. Uh, I know some of us aspire to become like him. Uh, how he got to where he is now may be relative. Your path too may be different, but mm -hmm. you can pick a cue. If not all, you can pick something from where he has um, reached so far. Do you sing? Have you recorded any song yourself? Yeah, or you only I, record for other artists? I have songs. I have some, but I don't see myself as an artist. Okay. Um, you see, one of the things that you need to realize is that your role. I see myself to support. I don't see myself to lead. So... When we are all leading and we are all having albums, I'm also having my own albums. My approach towards things will change. You understand? I have songs, but um, um, I don't have the the red light, uh, the green light to go do an artist and that kind of stuff. I'll do worship experience and do it with my colleagues over here and all that. Yeah. So have like you that. engineered any song for Minister Setra here? Yes, I, I came here to do the recording and everything. The one he launched recently. Yes. You engineered that song. That's where we met. You know, when, <laughs> when, when we received that song and uh, my technician listened to the song, he was like, Patrick, this sound is different. I didn't do the final mix, mm -hmm. but I did the live rec sound and the recording also. Okay. So I recorded the files and everything. 
and that's what we because uh there are some songs that come to our studio here <laughs> we listen to it and we just take the decision this song we are not playing it on our head. we need to protect our brand yes we are not playing this song but when that song came we didn't play it because of the relationship i have with minister i could have decided this song shouldn't go on air there are songs like that or there is a time that we play certain categories of songs uh, maybe upcoming artists so we make our listeners know these people are upcoming artists they are not masters yet so they know uh, when there are any flaws in the sound or whatever they say they understand <laughs> when the song came the sound the quality i mean the patience he had delivering the song and everything i was like this is a brand mm. And we've played that song over and over and over. I think let me just look for that song and then Agbola. Yes, yes, we have Agbola. <laughs> uh, and, and, and one of the things I can also say is um, your your being, your behavior mm. attracts certain things. I've worked with Joe, I've worked with Danny Nete before. He has a sweet spirit. I'm here because of him. I've never met you before. I don't even know. I saw one car at where we were doing the setup. I saw, so I never know of a radio station called Sun City. But through him, he did him all, make, make sure that everything is possible for me to be here. How many people would do that? Oh, someone is coming here. Oh, he will use those connections for his favor. But he didn't do that. I'm here, I'm the one having conversation with you, and he's there quietly. You understand? Those are, those are people. So, so, anything of his that you see that he does, God in its way knows that this guy, when he has two CD, someone will have one CD out of it. So God will keep on blessing such people like that. So it's the reflections of the heart. That's what you are hearing. Right. So um, let's listen to one of his songs, Yesu Wabola. When we return, I'd want to find out from you if you are married and yeah, yeah, what yeah. you are doing in Keta. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like seriously? Wow. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> what I just did? Yes. We can record this. So maybe you didn't hear it well. I heard you. But let me sing it again. Okay. Yes, we will work bola boy. Yes, we will work bola. That's the even everything. Uh, we can use that for jingle and everything. You will be surprised. But you are not married. Are you married? <laughs> no, no. Is there anyone? <laughs> I'm the one asking the questions. Yeah, I'm the one asking the questions. <laughs> oh, that one, mm. not yet. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I understand. You don't understand, but no. not this. <laughs> I understand. Not yet. But you are also not married, right? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, in the process. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have a process already? Yeah. Oh, wow. I've started the process. <laughs> mm, so uh, it's in the pipeline. Amen. Yeah, it I'll come for your wedding. Sure. I'll come. Maybe you engineer the sound there. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. For 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 this, I'll mm. come. Okay. All right. I'll come. Cry. And Minister Sechofia will be there to sing as well. Even the honeymoon crap, if you want you to okay. get the sound, I'll come. Should I tell you the date I'm getting married? Yes, just tell me. Oh, not yet. No, the dates are very, very important. Yeah, I'll tell you not yet. My schedule. So if you tell me the date, I'll... Oh, not now. 
<laughs> right now. I'll tell you, not our listeners. I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, people are listening, you know. They are like, hey, Patrick is getting married. Anyway, Dala Desmond says you're watching us. Uh, big ups, thank you. And then uh Agbo Jeremiah Mo Priscilla Clicko from Clicko says good morning. Thank you so much. I've really learned a lot. Thank you so much, Mr. Jonathan. May God continue to bless him. This Priscilla inside Clicko. So you can also send us a comment. How do you feel about the conversation that's going on uh now? You can send your comments to our Facebook page, Sun City TV. Uh but then what are you doing here in Keta? So um I'm here for the worship experience. So it's a program that I I do personally. It's my um um, fifth March is my birthday actually so um, every fifth March I sometimes do personally in church like engage the altar to pray do self-assessment and all that into 12 o'clock from 11 to 12 o'clock a.m. so I think four years ago I had a conviction to open it up so that my friends can come so that we can just worship into the night the midnight and all that so we did one and it was it was it was great the second one we did it um at a, a studio black city in accra i did it with overflow uh, with my friend j loops and then the third one we did at side hills mm -hmm. so i was like it's it's good that we should take worship it shouldn't be at a static place i believe in anybody that won't have an encounter with god it's in the place of the unknown. You don't have encounters when you are at a place of comfort. Mm. You need to move. Mm. So even moving here, <laughs> it wasn't easy. Mm. But it was through this program I came to Keta for the first time. When I came there, I felt something here. I was like, no, this place is a good place for things to be done here. So I was pondering over about two years. But this year I said, no, we're going to do it. And by the grace of God, I have all my brothers here. I have about more than 11 people already here from Accra. Most of them arrived this morning. Yesterday, even myself, I have to drive to Accra so that we bring some people in because this is for God, you understand? It's not for me, Jonathan, or anybody, but to, to when a heart is ready, when a heart is open for worship, people receive easily. So even pastors know that, so they always want worship to start before they preach. You understand so we go the people will use music to do other things but we are using music to draw people closer to him and and i know keta uh, there's something here i don't know some of you have seen it but there's this peace when you come here it's a peace of mind and all that i have felt it and i have people even couples from a crowd that they're going to come in i even have a friend she pushed to get tickets to come all the way from canada to come for this program and that's how and I'm telling you, people have shown love. Equipment, full equipment are here. I didn't pay for anything. The person drives the equipment here with his own truck. Light video, high, top-notch video crew. He's here with his wife. And they're all here with their wives. And I'm like, is Except that... you. <laughs> mm. They're all here with their wives. Except you. <laughs> That's why you didn't use we are all here with our wives. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I will, okay. Was, it's good that yeah. hey, by that side you, you you'll be in trouble. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you'll be in trouble. Don't worry. I have these mics and everything. So one day I'll, I'll bring you on my program. So don't worry. Okay. Uh, well, I'll bring you on my program. Then you, you interview me too. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Uh, so, so we are all here. Um, 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 by Eric, um, 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 Theophilos, Divine Media, um, more people are coming also. All right, so tell us about the experience. Uh, you have some artists uh, who will be performing. Um, and where is the program taking So place? we have one tonight at the Lost Gym, um, at, the, at the show, at the Lost Gym. Yeah, uh, we know the Lost Gym. Yeah, at the we, beach side. Yes, we have, we've already erected a tent over there. Is it at the beach? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it's gonna it's gonna be live on Facebook too. Um, so if you want to watch it live on Facebook, his way music on Facebook, just go follow and, and subscribe to the page. It's gonna be live on Facebook. And 
Um, tonight is just going to be worship and discussions. We're going to talk and just worship. But Saturday, that's the day for the program itself. It's going to be a long night of worship and prayer. Start at 9 o'clock and we'll finish in the morning. And I don't do artists. I, I do people that are available. When we are led, anybody at all can minister. I can also come and minister. Oh, yeah. By hearing your voice, uh, maybe you could help you might even end up preaching. Oh, Lord, I want to worship. <laughs> <laughs> I want to worship. All right, so maybe I'll just surprise you. I'll just come. Oh, you see, your friend is shaking his head. <laughs> his voice, his voice worshiping. Hey. Uh, anyway. But you have to come. You have to come. Yeah, I'll And try. also be yeah. part of... It's, you see, sometimes one of the powerful things we can do is to appear for some showing forth and this great experience that you've already you've already shown yourself forth and all that also has its own unique blessings that it gives to you and people also have respect for you so when people like you show up and uh, in spite of your busy schedules you are there to come and worship not come and do program and all that i think they also encourage some of the youth also you understand so some of the things that we do they are what you know uh -huh. So the little little things we put our efforts in, we also will attract them. You understand? So I encourage any of you that are watching from home. It's a free event. We are not paying anything. Tonight is going to be at the Lord's Gym. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. It's going to be Saturday all night. People ask, why are you doing Saturday all night? So far as the fifth fall on Saturday or Sunday, we'll do it. And and people are even going to stay here till Monday. You understand and and, and it's, it's wonderful it's gonna i like wonderful. I, I like that aspect because most of us don't like the payment issue <laughs> yeah, since it's free and uh uh what time uh actually is it 11 p.m or 11 a.m the saturday one the saturday is 9 9 p.m, 9 PM. yeah 9 okay PM. so we worship till till yeah. till the sunrise okay okay i think it's a good one i heard you also doing a program at fort presenting yeah. yeah that's the saturday the Saturday is at 9 p.m. The Saturday is at Saint, uh, the fourth uh, priest's thing. That's where. What's the actual name again? No, let me get this clear. So, what are you doing at the Lord's Gym? The Lord's Gym is just a um, um, gathering of worship that will sit down and worship and have discussions and all that. There's a program I do called the Choir Experience. Okay. So, just like a bit of a choir experience, but we're going to do a lot of worship songs and all that. Just, it's just going to be like a three hour um, program just to kick start what's going to have that one is uh, in the morning this evening this evening at just six. today just today at six at six p.m yes okay then saturday is going to be 9 p.m at the fort fort inside the fort in front of the fort you, 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 when you come i'm telling you you like it okay it's oh, not but the fort is just here uh, I oh, should, don't I should, worry I this one away. I like the fact that I have brothers that are helping him, that is sleeping. He said, he, he, No, he's not sleeping. He's sleeping. He's meditating. Maybe praying. He too is an, a fool, a fool too, so. Okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and all of them, like, is, is collective ideas. Mm. If I tell you what everybody's bringing in to make sure this will happen, you'll be amazed. Saturday, you love what what's going to happen and i like the venue the breeze from the sea you i know, like the venue you know, i like the venue you know. please anybody listening uh try and come come to Keta. um so this evening uh 6 p.m it's at yeah. the lord's gym and tomorrow 9 p.m it's at uh, the fourth year so don't go anywhere don't go anywhere clubbing pubbing or whatever please let's meet at um fort Prisinston here in Qatar. Uh, I think it's almost time we should be wrapping up uh, on this conversation and I'm inspired. Uh, I you. mean, uh, having this conversation with you and I just heard from you that the song I just played, Yes We Wabula, was recorded here in Qatar. Yes. The Lord's Gym. Yes. I don't know if anybody else listening outside will believe that. There was that here. We we, 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 we brought in equipment from Accra the Lord's Gym, the uh, uh, basketball um, court, that's okay. where we recorded it. Wow. Everything is possible here, I'm telling you. Everything is possible. Yeah. Everything is possible. And you'll be amazed what's going to happen also on Saturday. That's going to come live. And it's all about we teaming up to do things. Yeah. Through that, that's where I met him. 
Well, yes, we have Wagbola recorded in Keta, the Lord's gym. <laughs> anyway, I, I believe that seventy percent because <laughs> you see, I'm 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 not trying to believe this fully because comparing the song to other tunes that are recorded in the cities, mm -hmm. uh, it's same or even better than that. So I was thinking this song was recorded somewhere in one of the poor studios in Accra, directed by top-notch directors, saying, hey, uh, Sajafia, don't go that way. Your pitch is too high. Calm down. Come out of the booth. Why? Didn't you drink tea? Have you done this? Uh -huh. Something like that. But the Lord Jim, Keta. Yeah, I'm telling you. You have to watch the video and believe. You so see the view and everything. Artists who are Moving the singers, up and down the singers are here in Qatar, they can also do the same. Yes, the sing even the program that we are doing, mm. we are using singers from Qatar, singers from Qatar, singers from Aflao, singers. Even we have people even coming from Ho and um, Ho and also Togo. They yeah, are the backing vocals. Okay, Togo. Yes, they okay. came. They come here for rehearsals. Okay, everything is possible. People move from Togo. Yes, to this place. For rehearsals. Yes, the Lord Jim, that's, what we, that's where we do our rehearsals. Okay. Okay. Anyway, it's, it's, it's music profitable, gospel music, uh, and then sound engineering to you. Are you comfortable? Oh. If I'm not comfortable, I will not be here. It's a blessing. You know, blessings are in diverse ways. Good health is even a blessing. A good name is even a blessing. And I'm telling you, when you do things diligently from your heart, look, there are so many benefits that I get serving God. I was not thinking about benefits. I don't think about benefits. But God, as you do with He, He makes sure that He takes care of your needs. You keep saying serving God, serving God, serving God. What, what, what is it about serving God? Because, see... Uh, someone listening out there might say, you think you are the only one serving God. I'm also serving God. Someone might also say, I don't serve God, but I'm also a sound engineer. Someone listening can also say that. So what is this about serving God? How, how is this working for you? If someone should have, um, you know, people boast in so many things, but I can say that I'm here at this table because of service. I came to serve him. Through the serving, I've seen something here. We are coming to do the program. Through the serving, I've been able to meet you. And serve, you see, let me, let me use this scripture. It says that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like an eagle. If you see the characteristics of an eagle, the eagle sees its prey from afar. The eagle is sharp. The eagle um, 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 doesn't lose uh, um, its target. Mm. It soars on the storm. When yeah. it sees storms, it becomes happy. Yeah. Mm. It flies against the wind. Yeah. But you see, when, the, when you go to, I tell people, people don't understand that scripture. It's a day that wait. When you go to a restaurant, right, who is the waiter? The one who serves you. Service will make you do exploits, I'm telling you. Service is waiting. Service yeah. is waiting. It's just that some of us, sometimes we are in a hurry. We, mm. we, we do certain things and we want the result quickly. Uh, once we are paying our tithes, we go, we give uh, thanksgiving, offering. We are good to people. We evangelize and all of that. We expect a miracle. Turn around all of a sudden. Yeah. We, we just want to move forward we want to march forward but sometimes it doesn't happen uh surprisingly sometimes bad things rather happen to some of us uh, and it discourages us but we're serving god we're worshiping god we're doing all this but day in day out i get sick i get some more money then i have to go to uh, the hospital uh, my kids are these my, my my kids they are not listening to advice from me uh, maybe some mama is on her knee now, praying for her children to turn away from alcohol. Meanwhile, she's serving God with all her might. I don't know. Uh, hmm. 
this thing about serving God. Eh? Let me let me say this. Mm. Serving God um, has so many approach to it. I wish we have enough time. Um, do you have the right heart towards serving God? Some be serving God, looking at um, um, acceptance from man. Some be serving God, waiting for someone to appreciate them. But serving God is like um, it's like it looks very stupid when you're doing it. When I started doing this, sometimes it looks very funny. Like, oh, this is that you are doing. Are you sure that uh, you're going to get something out of it? This is that you are doing. Are you sure you're going to get something out of it? But you see, over the years, it doesn't come. God is not like a genie that you scratch, then your wish comes to pass. God knows that very well. He, he said he meets us at the point of our need. Needs are different from wants. You can do without wants, but need you cannot do without needs. And service is meant to shape us, mm. not for us to get benefits. He gives the benefits. But if you're always serving, looking at God, oh God, Charlie, I just sweep the church auditorium. Can you let my account shine for me? God doesn't do like that. And you see, thousand years is like one day in the, in the eyes of God. And if you are not patient enough, you cannot serve God. Time reveals. Time is a revelation. So you have to wait for time for things to manifest. And you see, when things are not working for you, check your heart very well. And check how you do things. I didn't start benefiting things just from onset when I started working. No, I, I challenge you. Sometimes I wanted to give up. I'm like, actually, this thing is not helping and all that. All right. So about challenges, we have some, uh, I think it's almost time. But just, just share with us, what are some of the challenges? I know the road was not that rosy for you. Yeah, some of the challenges, yeah. people will laugh at you. Um, laugh at you? Yes, they will laugh at you. Hey, are you, people are going to BP schools, you are, saying you, are, you are tuning equipment and all that. Are you crazy? Your class, your peers, will, that seems that they've gone ahead of you. Um, you go hungry. You go hungry. You, you, you go hungry. Are you hungry? Oh, that day is that, Charlie. You don't have anything in your pocket. Wow. Like, you are like, Charlie, what's happening? Mm. But people see you, oh, bossu, bossu, but Charlie, bossu is not reflecting in their pocket. But you see, this Keta experience, if I tell you what God has done, even I was coming, someone just said, oh, KB, oh, I won't buy food, I'll give you. Just fill my tank for me. When I traveled, I was coming, someone took my car, did servicing for me, bought food for me. I didn't ask. Mm. Yesterday, I needed money to do something. Exactly three o'clock, someone sent money into my momo alert. I was like, I called him and said, ah, what's that for? So I know that you are doing your program. You need money to do stuff and all that. I was like, wow. Someone gave us equipment. Equipment had been lying there for almost a week, waiting for us to start a program. Wow. And if this is not God, mm. even the kindness that people have shown is enough for me. So for me, boss, I've, I've seen it. Right, so just want to salute you this morning. Thanks so much for coming to our studio and uh, agreeing to talk to us here in our own small corner here in Keta, Le Kama, Mia Le Kama, here at Sueku, uh, for responding to our call. A big man like you, a whole sound engineer, oh. agreeing to come to a small office, sitting down in a small, comfortable chair. <laughs> It's small, but it's comfortable. Uh, no small. And I agree. And talking to this small boy, thank you, <laughs> Minister Sejofia. Thank you so much for uh, bringing our man to the studio, and uh, uh, maybe say hello to everyone when you return. I understand he's here with his team, and they are listening as well. There are people listening online. We are streaming on our website, Sun City Radio Online. The audio is streaming. We are on Radio Garden, we are on Radio Universe, and so lots of people are listening, apart from those watching on Facebook. Uh, in case you missed any part of this interview, don't worry. Uh, it may not be available on Facebook. We'll put it on 
uh, YouTube, Sun City TV. So your final words, and then we uh, wrap up. All right. Um, final words. Um, never take the God factor in everything that you do. Whatever you're doing, so far as you even have life, it's a God factor. Never take the God factor in everything that you're doing. And never forget or never, ever, ever not depend on God. The dependence on God is the beginning of wisdom. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. Mr. Jonathan Kakraba, it's been nice talking to you. And uh, you're a nice man. I like you. You smile a lot. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, and we have some comments here as well. Uh, happy birthday in advance to Mr. Jonathan Age with massive grace. The grace one, the grace is massive. Oh. Like the one the apostles received when they gathered to worship God. Manu <laughs> Vaga. Then William Pepper said, um, Pa, watching you live from Kumasi. God bless you, Daddy. Hey. Anyway. Uh, so you are some people's daddy. Oh. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Set as our glory says on behalf of uh, Glorious Crew, we welcome you all to Keta. So thank you very much. We thank end you. it here, and uh, it's been nice talking to you once again. And in case anybody missed, maybe you just joined us, but the conversation has just ended. Don't worry. We'll post the video on YouTube, Sun City TV, for you to watch. My name is Patrick Giramado. Thanks to uh, DJ Citrus and Pierre. Uh, thanks to Kakeli, thanks to Dennis, uh, the entire team, making sure you hear my voice. Uh, and those watching on uh, Facebook, those who sent in their messages, I say a very big thank you to all of you. It's a Friday. Enjoy. But don't blast. Eh? We'll meet on Monday. I'll be on your radio, 88.9, the real definition of radio. Now, remember, we are meeting at uh, Fort Presenston uh, tomorrow, 9 p.m. And today we are meeting at the Lord's Gym, uh, 6 p.m. So make a date. This uh, two days here, yeah, Charlie, we have to be with God. Thank you. My name is Patrick, and I'm out.